That was a pretty good job on pronouncing my last name, Janet, but she cheated and asked me before she went up and did that. Um, so I am uh, extremely humbled to be on stage, and just it's been crazy to see how much the CNCF and cloud native community has grown over the last three years. Uh, Dan mentioned in his keynote yesterday, uh, you know, in particular detailing that growth in terms of projects, members, um, you know, China is our third largest contributor to CNCF projects and so on. And it's just been uh, amazing to uh, be in China, you know, similar to Dan, six, six times in the last 12 months. It's been uh, an adventure learning uh, WeChat, Didi, Ofo, all the wonderful kind of new tools you have to learn when embracing a new culture. So enough about that. You know, as a community, I think it's very important that we take the time and recognize individuals and organizations that have put a lot of effort in advancing uh, cloud native uh, in the industry. And so in CNCF, the last uh, couple of conferences, we have spearheaded uh, this concept of uh, end user awards and awards in general that target individuals, maintainers, uh, organizations, and so on. So today, uh, I'm happy to announce that uh, for the first time, uh, we are doing uh, an end user award focused on uh, the China market. And uh, in, in, in this particular case, it's been uh, interesting because when I, I think it was uh, probably a few trips ago in China, I was in Beijing, and I had a meeting set up, uh, you know, with this particular organization, and you know they're really stoked about, you know, explaining their story of how they, you know, moved off to virtual machines, you know, moved to Kubernetes on bare metal. Uh, you know, they were super stoked that the Vitesse was coming in as a project, and you know, it's just kind of amazing to see how much uh, progress they made in moving to. Uh, Kubernetes and other CNCF projects, and you know they were very, you know, public uh, about that through blog posts and, and other means. So, um, you know, today I am happy to announce that our first uh, end user uh, award uh, will be awarded to uh, JD.com, uh, and uh, they will speak uh, a couple words on on this. But I would like to first announce uh, Hai Feng to come up and receive the award. So, thank you. <laughs> And on behalf of our company, I received the awards. And it's really exciting for me to be here. And on this precious occasion, I'd like to talk a few words about the continuous technology in Kubernetes application. Uh, and also our chemistry with Kubernetes. And uh, actually, back in 2010, we began to look, we began to implement container, and we used Docker containers to accelerate the deployment of resources and also continuous delivery, continuous integration. And also since 2014, and uh, we began to do the containerization for Kubernetes. And then in order to realize the isolation of our efficiency to uh, isolation of resources, and later on we have the Kubernetes project on board. And based on Kubernetes, we build our next generation of our underlying architecture, and also we begin to use the test. And it is a high quality project, and it has a very good. Uh, compatibility with uh, Kubernetes, and uh, therefore in the past several years we have uh, begun to build the large-scale clusters and in charge of all of the core business of uh, JD.com. And since the second half of uh, 2017, we began to build a, generation, a new generation of a deployment system, and it is also based on Kubernetes to have the accurate uh, forecasting and also automatic uh, scheduling and uh, also a better resource management, more efficient, and uh, also increased deployment intensity, and uh, we can reduce uh, a massive cost in procurement for server every year. And, uh, 
for criminals and also the computer technology. It can improve our efficiency and also lower cost. And I believe this is what we need to embrace cloud-native technologies. And in the future, I hope that JD.com uh, we can have more cooperation, more closer collaboration with the staff and other communities. And uh, we'd uh, like to contribute to Vitus, Harbor, Home, CNI, and uh, also other high quality projects to contribute our share of efforts and also wisdom to all of the project development. And in the future, we will apply uh, our own uh, project program into the incubating uh, program list of SNCF. And uh, I, lastly, I still want to say thank you to SNCF and also say a big Thank you to all of the members in our community, and in the future we will share a more user picture of that and to use technology to generate more value for our society and for the community. Thank you. All right, good. We go. Go for it. Go for it.